Hello, welcome to Saturday on Cracking the Cryptic and uh, an intriguing puzzle, puzzle in prospect today. But uh, of course, don't forget that the Looney Tunes puzzle hunt is still open until next week, uh, the 20th it'll close on. And that's available on Patreon for those of us who follow, those of you who follow us there. Thank you for doing that. Um, extra content always coming out for every now and again. And uh, well worth tuning in for that now. Um, also, of course, there's all our apps, all seven of them available on the links under the video. And we have merchandise there as well. Uh, the last app to update was the chess one, I think. Now, let's have a look at this puzzle. This has come in from The Riddler, who I think we have featured on the channel once before. Um, this is called Heated Arrow Battle because we have arrows and a thermometer, a long thermometer, an unusually long thermometer. And it's just the normal arrow and thermo rules. So along an arrow, digits can repeat and the numbers on the arrow add up to the number in the circle. Digits on a thermometer must increase strictly from the bulb, so it gets bigger as it goes down, this one. And that's it. Normal Sudoku rules. Phenomenal that this is constructed without a single given digit. Good work by the Riddler, I suspect, but do give it a try on the link under the video. And I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. Um, right, and what... I mean, I could pencil mark this thermometer, and you would expect me to, being me, and I'm very tempted to, but maybe we'll just hold off for a bit, because I can visualise in my head very easily what all those pencil marks would be. But I think we're going to have to find some sort of relation between these arrows pointing in in the grid. Yeah, I mean, if you... and here as well, it's very thematic somehow. Okay, what I was starting to think was... Well, have we got some sort of... Swordfish or jellyfish on nines. There's a number of rows in which nines can't be in row two, three. Okay, I'm going to highlight all the cells in the grid just for my own interest that cannot be nines by the rules. Oh no, that's not true. By the rules of that's not true either. By the rules of arrow and thermo Sudoku. Now, are there enough rows to give us something going on? I'm wondering particularly if we're going to get a nine at the center of the middle column. One, two, so rows six here and seven here. I don't know, it doesn't quite work. They can only have nines in columns one, four, six, and nine. Row one is columns one, four, five, six, and nine. I don't know. That's not as straightforward as I'd hoped. Well, straightforward's not the word. I thought I might be onto something complex, and I don't think I was. Oh, okay, here's here's a thought. What do these add up to? The top four have to add up to at least ten. Now, you would think that these could only add up to three, and therefore these have to be thirteen or more total. But I think there's a bigger restriction, because we've got one, two there, and two or three here. So actually, these have to add up to... Oh, yeah, well, okay. They have to include a number. One of them can be from one, two, and three. The other has to be at least four. And now we've got 10 plus at least four plus at least one. These two now have to add up to 15 minimum. And if those were one and four, we'd get... Yeah, no, they can't be one and four, can they? In fact, neither of them can be one. 
because then we'd get 2, 3 here, and the number not on the thermo would be a 1, which would have to go there, clashing. So these do not include a 1. Do they maybe not include a 2 as well? Am I going mad here? If they don't include a 2, yeah, then this goes 1, 3, and that's a 2 for the column, but it can't be. So these two do not include a 2. Right, they are 3, 4. These ones are 1, 2, 3, 4. How does that take so long to see? And now that they're 3, 4, this is a 2. Okay, well, that's okay. That doesn't really fix anything. But now we know that the arrow sums here are 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 3, 4. So those are an 8, 9 pair, definitely. And we've got 5, 6, and 7 here. An 8, 9 pair there. Now... 3 and 4 on this thermo have to go there. 8 and 9 have to go at the bottom. And here, who knows, 5 or 6, 6 or 7. Wow, that is a weird relationship. It's just one cell being forced off the thermo, but I guess we don't see that pattern very often. Right, now, are these arrows just as good? Answer... No, no they're not. If they were... I don't know. How about whatever that is, is in one of those two, and therefore in one of these three. But it could even be an eight there, and that doesn't really get anything done. Okay, I'm looking at these again, wondering what I'm missing. Uh, I don't know. Oh. What goes in here and here? Is that maybe a bigger question? It's not too bad if this is a 5, 6, 7. Then you can put 9 and 8 in here and almost have the repeated thing at the top. But maybe you can't put a small number. No, I don't think that does anything. These have to be even, by which I mean whatever number is there is also in those two cells. And whatever number's there is also in those two. And what does that mean? That means that these add up to an even number, these add up to an even number. You know, I'm sure, the secret of 45, which is that every row, column and box in a Sudoku adds up to 45. So that whole row totals odd. So these three have to total an odd number. What does that mean? <laughs> Doesn't mean anything, does it? Oh, come on. Think about these ones again. What are these? Why couldn't we have low numbers here? A one and a two there. Then these needn't add up to more than 13. No, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. Right, I need to re recalibrate a bit and think again here. Um, looks like box 8. Box 8 has got an awful lot pointing into it. Ah, oh, this cell is the same as that, so it's one of those three. And this cell is the same as that, so it's one of those three. What does that 
tell us? I feel like it doesn't tell me anything at all. I hope I'm not just being churlish here. I'm clearly missing the point of the puzzle at this juncture, but it's hard. I don't know what we're meant to be looking at, and I can't... Should we have sorted out these threes and fours and eights and nines? I mean, they're symmetrical, so I don't see how we can do that in the top. You know, one of them could be four, one, four equals nine. I don't know, or three, two, four equals nine. Okay. If they were the 9 and 8, yes, this would use up the 9s and 8s for the final columns. If they were 9 and 8 in this column, these ones would add up to 34. Then these would have to add up to 11, which actually can't be done. So they're not 9 and 8, but that doesn't mean one of them can't be, does it? Um, oh, I'm missing something big here. Come on, think about it. No, oh, maybe it's about where 8 and 9 go down... Those can't be eight, but those could be. Those, these cells could never be, well, they could even be a seven here. You could have one, seven, one. So, okay, sorry. Where do nine and eight go in this row? How am I so slow today? That's so annoying. Right, where do 9 and 8 go in that row? Not on the arrows, because you can't make them up to less than 10. Not in that box. They're here. Right, and that is a big old X-wing on 9s and 8s. Right, now these two. Ah, where does 9 and 8 go in this row? Not on the arrows again, because the circles would need to have 9 or 8, and they can't be there either. So 9 and 8 have to be in those cells. Ah, here we go. Now we can do this total. They're even. And, okay, they could be 7 and 6 in theory. We can't have 9 or 8 in these outer columns anymore. I'm just going to orange those because 9 and 8 have been used up in the outer columns. Actually, maybe let's keep oranging all 9s and 8s just so I can see where they all are. Anyway, these can't add up to more than 13. If they did add up to 13, these would add up to 26. Plus 8 and 9 is 43. That's too much. Ah, yes, the simpler thing. Those are odd. That's even. That's even. To make up an odd total, that has to be even now. That is a 6, which gives us 7 and 5 on the thermo. That has taken me a long time to get through. Right. 23 there. So these other cells in the row add up to 22. That means that the circles add up to 11, because then the arrows must add up to 11 as well. So the arrows have 1, 2, 3, and 5 on. The circles have 4 and 7 in. Whichever one is a 7 has a 5, 2 pair. Whichever one is a 4 has a 1, 3 pair. We've got 1, 2, 5, and 7 in the central box to go. These add up to 17. I can't really do much with those. Um, never mind about those. Let's... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Ah, whatever that is has to be in one of those two cells, doesn't it? Oh, no, this is much better. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. Where does the other 8 or 9 go in this box? Obviously not there. We've got one in there already. It can't go in those two cells because they've seen eight or nine. 
well, they see an 8 and a 9. Can it go in the arrow? Well, 8 could only be in the arrow if 9 could be there, and it can't be. And 9 can't be on the arrow, so all of those cells are impossible to be 8 or 9, and that is an 8 or 9 there. Now we need two of them up here. Neither can be there because that sees an 8-9 pair. So that's an 8-9 pair. And we've got all kinds of 8s and 9s coloured around the grid now. Um, right, if that is... Ah, if that's 4, 1, 3, that's putting quite a bit of pressure on this. That would have to be 2, 5, and making that a 7. If that's 7, 2, 5, the whole thing... Well, the whole thing gets a bit easier. But if this is 4, 1, 3, that's 2, 5, and that's 7. And then that's 6. If that's 7, 2, 5... Oh, is this right? If that's 4, 1, 3, that's 7, 2, 5, and that's 6. If that's 7, 2, 5, this has to be 4, 1, 3. You can't get the 6 involved, so 6 has to be here. Good grief. So there's a 6 along here somewhere. Ah, but that can't be any more than 7. Can this be 6, 1... No, because that would be 2, 5 with 7 there and 7 there. And that's a sort of skyscraper clash on 7s. So 6 can't be on the arrow. And 6 is there. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so... This is 7 or 4. This is either 4, 1, 3 with a 7 there, or 7, 2, 5. Yeah, that is 4 or 7 as well. So what have we got going on in this row now? I don't know. Um, six, eight, nine. Say that is four, one, three. That won't work as well, because that would have to be two, five, and we'd get sevens there and there. So this is the seven, two, five one. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful setting. That is so clever and elegant. Seven there, two five there. Right. Now I think we really are away even more than before. They can't be one seven. This is a one four pair, so we just get the five in the circle. This is a three. I was petrified it was going to have to be a five again. Now we've got... Oh, that is a naked single two. It sees five, six, three, seven and an eight, nine pair in the column, and it sees one and a three, four pair in the row. So that's two. We've got a one, four pair down here. So no one on that arrow, which is quite interesting, I imagine. Um, now here, these cells see four, six, seven, and an eight, nine pair. Oh, that also sees one, two, and a three, four pair. So that's our naked single this side. That is one or three. We've got one, three, and two to put in. Now, does one of these arrows have to have a one? If they didn't, they would have to be at least two, three, four, five, making 14. Oh, then you can have one and two there, and the numbers are okay. There's no two on those arrows, so there is a two on those, on that pair of arrow cells. Oh, does this have to be 1, 3, 4, making 8? No. It could be 4, 1, 4, making 9. But there's definitely a 1 in use here, so there isn't a 1 in use over here. And now there is a 2. Ah, oh, it could be 2, 3, 3, or 2, 3, 4. Yeah, they're still not resolved. Okay, not to worry. Um... One of those is 8 or 9. Now, can that be orange? Can that be 8 or 9? 9, 8, 1, 3, 2, 4, 3. Yeah, I don't see why not. Um, okay. Oh, what about these things now? That can't be... Yeah, it can't be 8 or 9. 
because here it can't be 8 and here it can't be 9. So whatever is in both of those cells is on one of these arrows. What does that mean? I don't know. Um, am I looking at these columns? Not really. They're not giving me anything yet. Uh, one four pair R. So the minimum that these two can be is two and three. So the most this can be is four. Is that true here as well? There must be a two there, but it could be two three, in which case this could be one four. Yeah, still the most this can be is four. So now we have a one, two, three, four quadruple in that row, in row eight. And these, which also can't be eight and nine, are therefore five, six, or seven. And that sort of number must appear because here, five, six, or seven, these are also five, six. Oh, they are five and six because there's a seven there, sorry. So it's a five, six pair. And that 5 or 6 appears on this arrow, and that 5 or 6 appears on this one. So these are from 1, 2, 3, 4 as well. Um, right, so if there's a 5 and a 6 on those two arrows, then the most, the least that those 4 cells can add up to is 14, plus 1 and 2 here. That must be what's going on. Right, 1 and 2 there. These are 1, 2, 5, and 6 in some order, and that will allow these to add up to 17 together. That 1, 2 pair resolves this 4 and 1, puts a 3 here. That's now a 2. We get a 1 up here. Now, 8 cannot be... This can't be orange. We need an orange in this box. It can't be there because of the pair in the row. It now can't be here because that can't be 1. So that is our orange cell. The orange cell down here clearly has to be here. Uh, it doesn't resolve that pair, but never mind. Um, right, I'm just going to fill in the 8 or 9 there. That's probably not the most relevant thing to do now. Look at this. This obviously isn't 5 because that can't be 3. That's much more straightforward. 6, 6, 4, 5, Five. That's a two six pair, so that's nine. Make from two six one two there, and we get rid of two six. Yes, that's eight. And now we can disambiguate all the nines and eights. I do believe eight there, nine. Maybe not all of them. Can we do this? Not yet. Right, that is a seven naked single. Then we've got three and eight here. 7 here, this can't be 4, wow, what a puzzle, oh look, there's a 2, 1, 3, 5 quad, so this is 6 and 7, but that can't be 7 because this can't be 2, so it's a 6, 3 arrow, 7 there, that fixes 2 and 4, uh, really, no 4 there, let's remove the 1. Four, six, seven, and nine. So in fact, seven we can do. That goes here. Nine must be here because of that eight, nine pair. So there's our last two oranges. That's four and six. So we can fill in eight there, three, and I think we're now finishing off. Um, that's become a nine, and that's on an arrow, eight. Eight. So all these possible 9-8 deadly patterns are all resolved. What a puzzle this is. This is just epic. But I think we are through it now. 5, 1, 3, 1. So that's columns 2 and 3 done. Let's have a look over here. Yes, 3, 1. All going in pairs in columns 7 and 8. 6, 2, 2, 5. Yeah, there's the other 5. Right, and over here, 6, looking up at the top, 7, 6, uh, that gives us 7, 1, oh, oh, just looking at a deadly pattern here, and luckily, of course, they're on the arrows, so 8 equals 1 plus 3 plus 4, 
Uh, sorry, the deadly pattern didn't involve the two and the five. It was just the threes and the fours. But anyway, there we go. What a brilliant puzzle. That is a heated arrow battle indeed. Thank you very much to um, the Riddler for coming up with that. That's a really entertaining puzzle. Um, and I enjoyed that a lot. I hope you had a go. That that really was worth doing and uh, very entertaining stuff. So as always, thank you for following us on the channel. We are incredibly grateful for your attention ever. And uh, we really hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.